All right, party people. This is your host, Tyler Berger, back with another video on how to make crepes and the proper procedures you must go through so you keep you and your loved ones safe from the harmful pathogens. Ooh, scary, right? As you just saw in the beginning, you must wash your hands with soap and warm water to make sure all the dirt and bacteria are off your hands. Next, you must gather the following ingredients. Milk, eggs, vanilla extract, vegetable oil, flour, and lastly, salt. After you gather the proper ingredients, you must measure out one cup of flour into a mixing bowl. After the flour has been dumped into the bowl, you must add one pinch of salt. Following the pinch of salt, you need to measure out one cup of milk. After the milk has been measured, pour it into the bowl. After the milk has been poured into the bowl, you must measure out two tablespoons of vegetable oil into your mixture. After the vegetable oil, measure out one teaspoon of vanilla extract into your mixture. Next, crack two eggs into your bowl now, once both of your eggs have been cracked into the bowl, and get your mix on, your mix on. Once you are done mixing, your batter should look very runny and thin. Next, you should get a medium sized pan out. After you get your pan out, pour a little bit of vegetable oil into a bowl and then brush it onto the pan so that the crepe does not stick to the pan when you're trying to flip it and it stays thin. Once the pan is hot enough, get your batter ready and pour it in a circular rotation so that the batter spreads out evenly throughout the pan. Once your crepe is cooking, you must move quickly so that you put away all your ingredients back where they came from so that your workstation is clean now remember, don't drop anything. After your crepe has been cooking and you put all your supplies away, flip it. Next, open that fridge back up and pull out your fruits. In this recipe, we use strawberries and blueberries. You have to rinse them out with water so that you get the remainder dirt off. After rinsing off the fruit, put them onto your cutting board and cut off the tops. Once the tops have been cut off, cut the strawberries into fourths and put them into your bowl. Next, we're gonna take one spoonful of sugar and lightly dust it over the bowl of strawberries. Once your crepe is finished cooking, put it onto a plate and spread a nice layer of strawberry jelly onto it. Next, scoop some strawberries and blueberries into it and roll it up like a burrito. Once the crepe has been rolled up, put some whipped cream on the outsides and then spread some strawberry jelly on the top. Here is our final product after cooking and preparing the crepe. Remember that when you finish cooking, you must scrub all of your materials with warm water and soap. Nothing can stop us where. Oh,